friends, and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 9th of November, 2023. Um, this has piqued my interest. I was called to use my Good Vibes Only tarot or tapestry, and then the tarot deck we're using is the Tarot Illuminati. For those of you that are on my channel, you know I call this my Chaos deck. So combined with the two... Uh, I don't know exactly what's going to come out today, but I have a feeling it's going to be either very poignant or interesting indeed. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump right in and find out. All right, my lovelies, I am back. We have one ace, eight major arcanas, and I noticed the synchronicity 777 showing up. Um, that was the only one that uh, caught my eye as the cards were coming out. There might be more here, but let's go ahead and jump into the best part of your day. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which to me is a, a good thing to start out on. We have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the King of Cups. The Six of Cups in the reverse, the Moon in the reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Sun. Okay. Okay, whether this is a past friend, you know, an old college buddy or uh, a childhood friend or, you know, somebody that you've been in a relationship with for a, a long time. You've had lack of opportunity to connect, to explore your relationship, to foster your relationship lately, but that is changing. Um, for the better. So the, the lack of opportunity to meet up, be sociable, you know, go have fun with your girlfriends for a girl's night out or a guy's night out, that is um, changing. That is very much changing. So be aware that more opportunities are going to start um, coming up. So even if you are restricted on, say, time limit, whatnot, um, you're, you're going to see what spot is actually now available. So something's going to start coming up. That's kind of uh, your ray of sunshine here with a sun card. Opportunities, rewards. So despite uh, maybe even a strained relationship, just mixed match schedules, all this stuff, or just plain lack of communication, uh, that is shifting for the better. So perhaps your patience has paid off. We're, we're going to see what else comes up for, for that. But your focus is most definitely on relationships, whether that is for, um, like I said, somebody that you love, care about, maybe it's a family member, um, or if it's a, like I said, a, a childhood friend. So what's your worst part of the day? We have the Page of Wands, the Tower, the Chariot, the Fool, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of or the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. I would like to remind people it does take two for a relationship. You both have to put energy into it. So if only one of you is, you know, always messaging or calling the other, emailing the other, it's an unbalanced relationship. Or if you're both ignoring each other and you just 
haven't both put energy into it. <laughs> yeah, remember it takes, uh, you know, communication is a two-way street. Um, and so it takes two, it literally takes two people to have a relationship, uh, an excess, success, the, let me put my tongue back in my mouth, a successful one. <laughs> and you might actually find a reaching out or find the other person having difficulty reaching out. Um, you might actually be in a, a comfort zone. You might have kind of fallen out with somebody and gotten used to the lack of communication, the lack of reaching out, lack of actually going, hey, I miss you, or hey, how you been? What are you doing? Um, can we meet up? You know, what's new in your world? So taking that first step approach might be rather difficult for one, if not both of you. And you could possibly just not want to be the first person that initiates this. So if the other person is somebody that um, never reaches out, you might actually have been withholding talking to this person simply because you want to force their hand to be the one to go, hey, what's going on? Because you're always the one putting the effort into the relationship. Um, to establish, to try and maintain it. Hmm, okay. Let's see what the obstacle, or how to get over the obstacle is. We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, followed by the Four of Swords in the reverse, Death in the reverse, Strength in the reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Seven of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, like I said, it takes two for a relationship, folks. It's hard to build and maintain a, a fulfilling relationship if no one is putting effort into it, if no one is chipping in. We all want something that is mutual, authentic. Something that is abundant and prosperous, yes, but is also fulfilling and has that connection that we all strive for. We are human beings. We strive for um, being able to connect to another, another's energy, whether that is a human, whether that is an animal, whether that is with nature. We strive for connection. And when that's lacking, going, you know forward or when we see that going lacking going forward or it has been for a long time in the past uh, we, we realize that um, that's a relationship we can't build we're not confident in keeping that relationship maintaining that relationship or putting effort into it because it has faltered so much it's really hard to you know keep the ball moving and so instead we just hold on to the oh that person's no longer my friend no more. Oh, I don't mean that much to that relative. They never um, want to exchange Christmas cards. They never call. They never write. Um, they never want to come to holiday dinners. And for a lot of you, this is a this is a friend we're we're speaking of. But for some of you, this is um, family, and we're realizing how to support ourself through being able to connect and some relationships are not going to be salvageable others it just means literally opening the lines of communication and going hey hey are you still alive you know sound off um i miss you what's going on what's new in your world you you went you know all into hermit mode and you fell off the face of the earth, you know, what, what, what happened? <laughs> like I already discussed, one or both of you might have issues uh, doing this and yeah, you might discover that some relationships, are, some relationships are not worth salvaging, but it does take two. It takes efforts from both sides and if you're both the type of person that finds that difficult to take the step, someone really has to come out of a comfort zone and go, hey, I like you, 
I have a relationship with you. I want to maintain that relationship. I want to keep that relationship. So please, I, I miss you. C come back, you know, talk to me. It's interesting lines of communication are coming up. Yeah, the door swings both ways. Both of you can initiate a conversation. Both of you can have something to say. Both of you have to add value. The only way a connection is kept is because you both put effort into it. You both bring something to the table and you're able to mesh to, you know, complement each other and your current energies. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it takes two. Okay. Hopefully the um right right direction is now pointed out to the people the most important people that needed to hear that. I was kinda wondering, um, between the deck choice and the tapestry choice, what was going on today? It raised my eyebrow for sure. Let me look at your astrology. Yeah, Moon enters Libra. So, focusing on relationships, people in your life can be easier, you can feel more comfortable with the people you care about. Yeah, so relationships, this is most definitely highlighted for today. And you trying to maintain or reestablish or, you know, foster new connections. Why? Because they're important to you. You care about them. Um, so you're reassessing the the lines of communication and whether or not the relationships are able to continue going forward. Alrighty, I did add up all your cards. Everything here adds up to 187, which also reduces to 7. So we have 77. 77, yeah. Um, 7, the mind and creativity. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, maybe it is exactly what showed up in the best part of our day. Your schedules just aren't driving. Um, maybe it's all in your head that this person doesn't care about you anymore. Maybe it's all in your head that um, they just don't deem their relationship worth it. Perhaps they're just busy. Um, perhaps something drastic came up and they, they got distracted. I, I mentioned entering hermit mode, so maybe there's an explanation there and you need to give this person the opportunity to I explain why they were absent or have been absent. O on the other hand, this could be you needing to go, oh yeah, um... I had this happen and this happen and this happen and this happened and I kind of had to sit there and do my own private thing and contend with all that before I could come back and be sociable. So sorry, I was MIA for a bit. So yes, please take that as it resonates. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. And if it does resonate in some format, by all means, give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to share the video anywhere online. I truly appreciate those that do. It does help the channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell in the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.